Hi everyone, this is Mr. West. Welcome to a Khan Academy tutorial. We're going to be talking about interquartile range, the IQR. You really have to understand the five number summary or box plots before you begin. I can do a quick review for you though. For the five number summary to make a box plot, you need your min, which is your smallest number, your max, which is your biggest number, the median is your middle number, okay, or the middle 50%. And then Q1, that's your first quartile. Q3, that's your third quartile. Third quartile represents 75% of the data. This is 25% of the data. The median represents the point which 50% of the data on the, is on the left, 50% of the data is on the right, and the min is the smallest, again, and this is the biggest. Okay. So in order to find these things, we have to order this uh, on our little chart here. Now, I like it personally when I write it out. I don't just like looking at the dot plot. I don't think that's beneficial. I think it's a little bit easier to see when you have the numbers in front of you. So the first thing we have to do is we have to find the median. And one way to do that is to cross off one at a time, left, right, left, right, until you arrive on your middle number. And your middle number is gonna be your median. So we know our median is five. And this is gonna help us get to our interquartile range. Let me demonstrate. To find our interquartile range, again, we say this 25%, and 75% interquartile, we're looking for Q1 and Q3. To find 25% of 50, it's half. So what we do is we take everything except the median, and we're going to look for essentially the median of the first half of the data. So the median of the first half, uh, let me say first half, is going to be Q1. Okay, And then if we take this guy, the second half, I'm going to put it up, and we find the median of the second half, that's going to be our Q3. Okay, half of the between 50 and 100 is 75, and that is how we find Q3. All right, so first half of the data. Okay, if we're trying to find the median, again, we follow the same process, left, right, and we land on two. Usually, you take you add the uh, find the average between those two, but if we do it, it's just going to get one. So one plus one divided by two is just one. Okay, so one is our Q1. And what is our Q3? Our Q3. Okay, we do the same thing, left, right, and we land on four and five. This one is going to be different. We're going to have to add these two and divide by two. We get nine over two, or 4.5. So if we were to draw this box plot out, it would be, here's zero. Our Q1 would be one. Our median would be three. One, two, three. Our Q3 uh, would be 4.5. There's our Q3, 4.5. And then our maximum is 7. So we look something like that, okay? Now, interquartile range essentially just means this area right here. The number where we take our Q3 and our Q1, and we subtract them. Q3 minus Q1 is our IQR. Okay, and it's as simple as that. So Q3, Q3 minus QR, IQ, uh, Q1 equals IQR. I was going to get it eventually. 4.5 minus, and then 1, and that's 3.5. So that's our IQR. What did I say? 3.5, right? Okay, yes. All right, next question. Sort the data from least to greatest, and then find the interquartile range of the data set. All right, well, this is going to be annoying. Uh, so you're going to follow along, I suppose. If you want to fast forward this scene, I would totally do that personally. Um, let's see, 6, and then oh, 4.9, missed him. Okay, and then we have 7.9 right, he right here. And oh, 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 oh. there we go. I think I got it. All right, now find the interquartile range of the data set. Well, first off, I'm so annoyed that this 8.2 isn't here. Okay, so then I have to find the median. So I'm going to cross them up. Or I can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I add one more. It's going to be uh, 6. It's going to be halfway. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 is going to be our median. I can check because there should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on the top in the front half. And 1, 2, 3. Hmm. Ah, okay, that's right. There was an uh, even number. So we land on 5 and 6 for our median and there should be four on this side and four on this side and there are now our median when you have an odd number here our median is going to be 5.5 and i like to insert it there and then circle it because now when i know i'm finding the median of my for my first quartile and my third quartile which i'm changing to green 
I know that I'm going to not include 5.5, but I include all those other numbers, okay? Again, half the data needs to be on the left and half of it needs to be on the right. Now, I just have to find the median of this first half and it's 4.9 and then the median of the second half and it's 7.9. So the interquartile range is 7.9 minus 4.9. I could have guessed that they were going to do that. Shame on me. So three hours. Okay, and again, what the what that box is, I, sh I show the box on the other side. What that box is and what the interquartile range is, it represents where is 50% of the data? How many values does the 50% of the data span in its, in its set, okay? Find the interquartile range, if I can say that, of the data in the dot plot below. Okay, interquartile range. Again, we have these numbers. Luckily with doing this, you don't have to worry about you know, some computations like addition or subtraction or dividing like you normally do with mean besides dividing by two. I don't want anyone to call me out on that. But um, it's it's mostly just ordering, which is kind of neat. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm gonna count to five and that's gonna be my median. Here's my first half of the data. Here's my second half. Okay, so the median of the first half, I land on these two. So it's 44. Okay, and then I land on these two, and that's going to be 47.5. So if I subtract um, 47.5, I'm going to get 3.5 for my interquartile range, 3.5. And there we go. Following data points represent the number of quesadillas each person at Toby's Tacos ate. Oh, boy, got to sort it again. Okay, so I think you guys get the gist of it. If you have any questions on this, let me know. But here's I'm just sorting at this point. Kind of a real basic exercise. Um, I thought it had some outliers, but I guess that's a different one. So stay tuned for a video where I'm going to make something on outliers. Five force is next. That's greater than one. Okay, so then I'm going to cross this off. It should be all on the same line. And then put that two over there. Okay, find the median first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I count to six. And there should be half the data on the right. There's five and five. Okay, I find the median of both those. That's there, that's there, and I subtract five over four. One over four equals four over four, and that is equal to one. So one quesadilla is the interquartile range. The middle 50% was in, within one quesadilla of each other. And that's it. That's the interquartile range IQR. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you need any other, any other videos made, leave a comment. Say which video you need. Like, for example, some sort of worksheet or Khan Academy. And I'll be happy to make it for you. Regardless, I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.